What happened? Where's your troop? Come along, sir. It was an ambush. We were attacked from all sides. They even had explosives, sir. Explosives? Like what? How do the Indians have explosives? Was it cannons? What? We don't know, sir. It just exploded all around us, and before we knew it hit us, a quarter of my troops were down. We got what we could and got out of there. Where's Major Sumpish? I want his report now. Major Sumpish did not return, sir. An explosion near him. He disappeared. And not all bad. Never liked him anyhow. His uncle was a pain in my posterior 20 years ago. Sergeant Pepper? Yes, General, sir. Escort Colonel ahead to the infirmary. Then call General Quarter. General Quarter, sir. What about the soldiers show tonight? My band and I have been practicing. The show will have to be canceled, Sergeant Pepper. But, sir, it's been 20 years since I taught the band to play. This was special. We need to start preparing for a full-scale expedition to the Cleveland tribe lands. They've started a war, and by God, I'm going to finish it. And notify Santa Fe. I need the reserves in the troop train. Well, yes, sir. Rita will be disappointed. And Lucy. Her dazzling diamond show was always a hit. Oh, well. Corporal Shears! Billy, come here. I need you to... Smokey, did you get through to Lake Albalo Miners Camp? Yes, they say they have no unusual traffic going through and that there have been no incidences along the rail lines to Denver. Interesting. This dispatch from Fort Anspoon says there was an attack on a scouting party to explore where they had found General Discount, who claimed the Indians had attacked him. Apparently a General All is preparing a full force. He is awaiting a military train from Santa Fe. It will be a big force he's leading out. Matt will want to know all about this, as will the mayor before they leave. Oh, and, uh, hey, um, uh, Marshall and, uh, uh, Smokey, like, uh, I got this new message, uh, you know, from, like, the governor, you know, the guy in charge, uh, you might want to show it to, uh, the mayor and, uh, the new sheriff. All right, thank you, Mr. Zuckerberg. Oh, and Mr. Zuckerberg, I've been meaning to ask you since I got to Big Gulch. Um, like, what do you need to know, man? Uh, you know, I, uh, I have all kinds of information. Some of it's even true. I just want to know, do you even ever blink? Your eyes are creepy, sir. Oh, what? Huh? Excuse me, the message? What's it say, Marshal? Seems your friend the Reverend has friends in high places. It's an order for his release. I don't think the mayor or Sheriff Dannon, I mean Deputy Dannon, will like this. Okay, you go tell them the news. I need to go check on something else right now. I don't like this one bit, Sheriff. I mean, Deputy Dannon. I just can't get used to saying that. I don't like it either, Your Honor, but it's been checked. It comes straight from the governor himself. All right, do what you have to do. Matt, Dan, and Daisy are waiting for me, so let's make this fast. Can I get an amen, Flock? <laughs> All right, pipe down that nonsense, preacher man. You and most of your flock are being released. Ah, the Lord's justice has come, my flock, and we are released from this perdition among sinners. Can I get an amen? No, no you can't, or I will rearrest you for violating our statutes again. Just get out of that cell, except for those three over there. And why are they to remain behind? We are all innocent. Because we have eyewitness accounts that they threw the torches to start the fire at the itchy crotch. Liars and villains still plague us, flock. I shall see to their release. As Freebians did among the Buggerites, I shall not rest until all sin is exposed and all displayed before the Lord. On the contrary, Reverend Saltine, as mayor and chief judge of this territory, I sentence you to a $100 fine, plus damages to be repaid to the filthy class saloon and the Ishi Crash. Oh, how the wicked tax our pockets! Ye shall burn in perdition, lest ye repent of thy ways. And you are also hereby expelled and banished from the town and county of Big Gulch. Your building permit for your church is revoked, and you have 48 hours to vacate the county. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other business to attend to. Hi, preacher. That's Reverend. That's inmate 9205 if you want to stay and talk more. Come, flock. We shall leave this wicked land, as Freebie has said in the Book of Lacerations, chapter 6, verses 4 to 6. Though my body aches and I find it hard to walk or sit, I shall now leave this wicked land, having seen and felt their sins, though I carry the rashes and filth upon and inside me. Can I get- Don't say it, preacher boy! I just might lose my temper. And what of my innocence there being retained? How can I comfort them and find them? 
When is there a date in this man's unholy court? When the mayor returns for his business, so not for a few days. This is an outrage, sir. I am banished and cannot tend to all my flock. My church closed. How will I find them or they me? Well, when convicted, they will go to prison in paradise, and you can check up on them there. Brother John, Brother Basil, Brother Harold, I shall pray for you and meet you in paradise when the appointed day comes. Rest assured, you shall not be forsaken. All right, preacher, step this way, and we will return to you and your flock your property. Well, my brothers, looks like we are trapped like the prophet Freebius was trapped in Plato's pleasure palace in the book of Titillations, chapter 10. <coughs> what all did you say, Brother Basil? We said, four, four legs, legs good, good two, two legs, legs bad. bad. Huh? What? Never mind. Ah, oh, Donovan, how goes the cleanup? Did we acquire the necessary items? Oh yeah, Master Kahat. Quite a few weapons and several usable uniforms. Good, good. So on to the next step. I see a road, Donovan, and when I speak to the flowers, they tell me what is to come next. So now we're to head up to those tribal folks and bring some yang to them, Master? Sadly, it must be so, Donovan. Do not be too sad. For you are my sunshine Superman, and I must keep the faith in the comic wheels turning. I know, Master Gahap, but those tribal folks seem so peaceful and kind, helping us out when we started here. It all feels so unfair. Donovan, the universe does not do fair and unfair. The wheel turns and we ride until our ride comes to an end. Those who deserve achieve nirvana, and those who don't must ride again. I have ridden a long time, Donovan, and my time has come to create my own nirvana. Oh, I dig, Master Kahat, I dig. I guess the balance is always a part of the plan. Bad comes with the good. So the good must feel the bad, and the bad feels some good, right? Yes, Donovan, the balance. But end your doubts with this. The bad is the will of this wicked benefactor, and he shall be balanced soon enough. Besides, Donovan, if something good comes from a moment of bad, then that good could not exist without that bad. So the bad is really part of the good, is it not? Oh, wow, Master Kahat, that is so true and deep. Once again, your cosmic wisdom shines bright into the darkness of my own mind. Yeah, I dig it. I can totally dig it. My waves of worry have floated out to the sea. I feel so mellow now. Yeah. Mellow Yellow. They can call me Mellow Yellow. Quite rightly, Donovan. Quite rightly. Now, send in Wilberfar. I need to talk to him. Mm -hmm.